Well, hello everybody. Today is October 8th and the news has hit server transfers. So stick around to the end because I want to talk about what I would do if I were in the case of some of the people that were orphaned out there. Because the news is not good. Definitely not. And it's uh, things have changed as we've gotten here. So let's talk about it first. We've all been waiting for server transfers because a lot of us had to play on different servers due to uh, the big botched rollout, the lag, and the big queues. So some of us from USA West ended up playing in USA East and vice versa. So everybody spread all around the, uh, the, the world. So they said back then that, yes, go ahead and start playing because later on we're going to allow you to do server transfers. Okay, so now is later on, and today is the day where they said there'd be some news, and here is the news. So let's talk about it. So first things first, uh, this guy says a hot topic, what's going on with server transfers, blah, 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 and they come back, Raf tells says, uh, basically, yes, yes, and we'll have an update on Twitter and all that. So that was last night. Okay, so then if you went to bed and you woke up today, you may have missed this, and it says, I'm checking so hand tight so he's holding his hand tight and then came a little later i am back indeed for server transfers here's the bombshell wait for it you must choose a world within the same region you are playing at the moment sorry if that is bad news for you ha <sighs> well the thing is it is really bad news for a lot of people because some people are going to be screwed and really screwed bad so the re reason why that will be that way is because just take, for instance, you are starting the game and you cannot get on the USA server at all because during launch time it was all crowded. So you decide to go onto a Euro server or you're from the Euro region and you want to start over there, but the servers are all packed. So you start in the USA and now you want to go back because they promised. They promised you that they would let you go back to the server or to the region at least. That could be. I mean, we were led to believe you could just transfer to any server. But we knew that probably wouldn't happen because everybody wants to go to Shroud server and that server has still got queues in it. So nobody wanted to, could really do that at all. So there's, here's the, the anger here. So I, I wasted 80 hours, this guy said, putting in his character. I'm not going to be able to play it with my friends now. Well, time to find a new game. Um, I hope that doesn't happen because this is the best MMO out of 2021 and maybe... F 2020 and so forth. I don't think anything else has come out as good as this. Maybe Amazon knows that and they're like, whatever guys, you know, we got your money and uh, you can go somewhere else. But you know what? It costs more to play any somewhere else. And then here we go. Their Twitter says that basically, yeah, and uh, they should have been up front from day one. I believe what happened is they thought they could do it, but then they couldn't do it or it could be something else. Maybe they knew they could do it, but then they're like, yeah, let's milk these guys a little bit more. So then here we go. People are asking. They want more and more information. What's up? They're saying, what's up? What's up? Now let's talk about this. Greeting adventurers. Here's what they said back then. Any server was said back then. This is starting to look like bait and switch, guys. And here you go. So take a look at this here. If you are play logging in for the first time, 40% of our servers have low wait times, whatever, whatever. I was on one of those servers and now it's a high capacity server. Not because of me, but you know, they all are. And uh, we encourage you to seek uh, those new servers out and get playing. We're also working hard on a feature that will allow you to transfer your server to a different server. So if you choose one now, just get up and playing and you can make a different choice later to play on a server with your friends. So what that implies is two things. Either you can go to their server or you can go to a fresh new server that doesn't have anybody on it. But you can kind of see the problem with that. Let's just say you're on Shroud server. One of your friends is over there and you want to join them. Well, they're not allowing any new players to create new accounts on those servers. You may have noticed that if you look in... Uh, the create new character, those servers, they implemented it about, uh, I think, a, a couple days ago or a week, and it said you cannot create a new character on it. So right there, you know, when that came out, that you cannot transfer to a server that is locked like that. So you're not going to be able to go to the server your friends are on. Your only hope at that point was to go to a fresh 
brand new server or a low capacity server. That's your only hope back then. So people were hanging on to that last thought like, yeah, can we go to a, a server that's fresh and get all our friends to go there? And then they come out here and then they say, well, you are only able to uh, transfer within the region. So USA East can only transfer with USA East. Will it possible? Uh, here's what they said. This is what they said right here. Will it be possible to move from a U.S. server to an EU one? Yes, you can move um, this. And this is what they said back on Twitter. And recently they said you can't do it. But then here you go. Now let's keep going here. And they want some official information on this. I'm really worried that we're not going to be able to transfer different regions. And why would they just say recently that you can't? And then you look, and they do have in the shop, you can transfer to different uh, uh, worlds and stuff like that. But it's a paid thing. I hope this doesn't become a thing where you have to actually pay to transfer to a different region. I really hope not. That would be bad. Okay, so it goes down here, um, and they're talking more and more and more about it. But there's somewhere in here, which we're going to get to. And this thread keeps going and going and going. You can just talk, see here, they're talking about other MMOs like Guild Wars, allow you to do that and all. Let's take a look at this Twitter thing. So back here on September 28th, they said, yeah, you can move between regions if you want. Now think about this. Why would they say you could move between regions? Because number one, in my opinion, they know, they knew that you could do this. That's no problem at all to move between regions. But then later on, they're starting to figure out, hmm, well, you know what? There's a lot of people that want to do this. Let's restrict this. Let's make them start over because so many people got to level 60 in three days. Um, or maybe we can put something in the cash shop and make them pay for it and milk them a little more. I don't know. We're going to find out as time goes on. But um, this is on September 28th. So that's a week ago. And they're talking about this. And um, yep. Here it is. <laughs> so everybody's talking about this. And uh, yeah, so go back to this. And yeah, this is really, really a big deal right here. And so, yep, and he just disappears for his thread. And this is where we're going with this thing. So what do you guys think? I mean, what do you really think about this? If you were on a, a server like um, USA West and all your friends were on USA East, what would you do? Okay, I'll tell you what I would do. If I was on USA West and the majority of my friends were on USA East, given how easy this game is and how casual it is, I would go to another ser the server my friends are on. The majority of them are. And I would just start a new character over. Because I'm telling you guys, this game is the candy crush of MMOs.